The Upcountry Community Council plans a meeting August 13th to again focus on development for guidelines for what they would like to see in the proposed Buckhorn Town Center. UCC Chairwoman Lynn Morgan said we intend at this meeting to complete our process for defining decision criterion to present to the County Planning Commission and the Board of Supervisors. It's our hope that such guidelines will define what citizens would like to see considered in the development of the future successful Buckhorn Town Center. She encouraged people to plan to attend the meeting August 13th so they may be part of the process. She released a summary of the Buckhorn Town Center questionnaire produced by Rene Milkelson from responses at the July 9 pot luck meeting. Asked to list three words to describe the buckhorn. The summary said friendly was used six times and it was called quiet and rustic three times each. It was also called historic, woodsy, peaceful, scenic, beautiful, warm, uncrowded, forested, and convenient. Make that forested. The survey asked what positive trends are affecting buckhorn responses, including an improved hardware store, IGA landscaping, and maintaining good stock at reasonable prices. More tourism could be beneficial. Some redevelopment to upgrade structures and buildings could be an important. They noted positive of highway access, pay less market, updated gas pumps with card readers 24-7, and the community board at the Highway 88 and Meadow Vista presents a welcome. Mountain Cafe has excellent coffee, more young people, more businesses are coming in. There's an opportunity to influence the future on the community. Take and bake pizza, more people addressing the needs of seniors, and a bus route helps us get to town. Negative trends affecting Buckhorn were listed as traffic, the down economy, a down at the heels appearance for the last 30 years. Other negatives were lack of sidewalks, terrible cell phone service, bus service that is impractical for daily commuting, limited library access with a suggestion to relocate it to a town center. Also listed were home foreclosures, vacant commercial property, and homes, drug addicts, no shops, the bars, non-residents trying to stop progress and projects, and loud, rowdy people. Others said the name Buckhorn was a negative. They need more medical clinics and crime seems to be going up. Eleven respondents agreed that it's important to have decision-making criteria in place regarding the future development of the Buckhorn Town Center. No one dissented and some added comments. One said it would assure that the local community has a voice in shaping the future. One supported cohesive details to present an organized community, not a higgy-piggy collection without looking cookie-cutter. One said we want to have a say in this. Another said new ideas are always welcome.